So this is old news now, but the iPhone 15 has a new charging port at the bottom of the phone. Now, for many phones, the USB-C port allows for much faster charging. Although Apple didn't mention charging speeds, I wanted to test it anyways. So in this video, we're comparing all the 14s to the 15s in a charging speed test. I'm using the cables that the phones came with, and I'm using a high-speed Nomad power brick, which is definitely overkill, but this ensures that speed would not be an issue for this test. I also ran the test more than once to be sure the results are accurate. Although the speeds were never exactly the same, they were within a few minutes of each other each time. So without further ado, let's get to them test. The iPhone 14 has a 3,279 milliamp battery. At 10 minutes, we had 19% worth of battery charge. Now just at 20 minutes, we got to 40%. And in 30 minutes, it was 57%. To get a full charge, it took an hour and 40 minutes to reach that 100%. Moving to the 14 Plus that has a 4,325 milliamp battery. So since the battery is bigger, I wonder if it's gonna take longer to charge. At the 10 minute mark, we are at 21%. 20 minutes, we are up to 41%. And then 30 minutes, it's 49%. And the total time was one hour and 31 minutes. So the iPhone 14 Pro actually has a smaller battery than the standard 14 at 3200 milliamp. Let's see if that matters when it comes to charging. At the 10 minute mark, we are at 18%. At the 20 minute mark, we are up to 39%. And then we're gonna go all the way up to 30 minutes, which is going to be at 55% of battery life for a total charge of one hour and 38 minutes. Now this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max with a 4,323 milliamp battery. Now this was my personal phone and it's quite possible the battery health is a little bit lower, so maybe that does impact the charging speeds. At 10 minutes, we are at 18%. At 20 minutes, we are up to 37%. And at 30 minutes, we are up to 51%. And then the full total charge took two hours and 12 minutes. And now we're here to the iPhone 15 with USB-C. The iPhone 15 has a 3,349 milliamp battery, which is bigger than the 14. At 10 minutes, we are up to 19%. At 20 minutes, we are up to 38%. And then at 30 minutes, we are up to 56% with a total charge of one hour and 40 minutes. Okay, iPhone 15 plus 4,383 milliamp battery. At the 10 minute mark, we are at 18%. At the 20 minute mark, we are up to 36% of battery life. And at 30 minutes, we are up to 54% with a total charge time of one hour and 29 minutes. 15 Pro has a 3,274 milliamp battery and charging up to 10 minutes, we have 19% of battery. Going up to 20 minutes, we now have 40% of battery. And then 30 minutes of charge, we have 58% of battery with a total charge time of one hour and 40 minutes. 
And the final phone is the 15 Pro Max, which has the battery size of 4,422 milliamps. At the 10 minute mark, we have 15% of battery life. At the 20 minute mark, we are up to 34% of battery life. And then at the 30 minute mark, we are up to 48% of battery life. This brings us up to a total charge of two hours and 14 minutes. So looking at these tests, the thing that I found most interesting is that the iPhone 15s actually have smaller batteries overall, but the charging speeds were relatively the same. And then when you take a look at the 30 minute speed and then the full 100% speed, the phone definitely does slow down towards the end of the charge, which makes sense for heat reasons and things like that. Most of the time when you charge something, the first 50% or even 70% is a lot faster, very similar to an EV. When you have in like a Tesla and you charge the 80%, it is much faster than going 80 to 100. But those are my thoughts. Those are the results that I came up with. If you are interested in a different test, maybe a battery drain test, leave a comment down below and let's see if we can make that happen. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. Kevin, the Tech Ninja here. Take care.